Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and this is actually going to be a pre-recorded video of a let's play of a space game that I may have taken a look at previously. I'm actually away right now for about 8 to 9 days visiting a relative who doesn't believe in internet, unfortunately. So I can't really uh, upload videos from here. For this reason I decided to pre-upload a bunch of stuff and this is going to be one of those pre-uploaded videos. Enjoy it, hopefully you like it and I'll see you when I come back. Space out! All right, well, that was interesting. We survived that. On the first try, actually. I'm really proud of myself. Really, really well done. As, um, SS Rainhold Crater Station status at the control center. Uh, okay. In spite of WSA efforts to reduce the mental and physical burden of, on the lunar colonists to acceptable levels, not all colonists were left untouched by the conditions on the moon. The events of Huygens and the solitary existence of Rainhold seem to have left a mark on the base operator's mind. Basically, they all became a little bit too drunk. Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. We have to get to Moon Hill with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. We'll split up. You get a report on the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platforms. I'll find the operator to avoid the train for evac. Let's go. Wait up. There it is. We knew it your six control center. I have eyes on it. Go check on the train. I'll take care of this. Okay. Not entirely sure what they were talking about, but um to whoever reads this, find me. I didn't go crazy like these guys, Sarah. Okay. Sarah. Where did you go, Sarah? Did you go this way? Cuz I'm going this way. I have a feeling Sarah is going to be the only last survivor of this whole thing. This is another cutscene, but first, is this what I need to do? Yeah, let's watch the cutscene. Hey, hey, you there! A malfunction has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station, though. How can we get the track powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? Have you been watching me with that thing? Are you going to the domes? At Huygens? Everyone Colonists, we're here for your safety. Planning. Official orders of the Lunar Council. Hey, come in. I've got bad news. We're not going to get a run in. Any luck up there? No, just a nut job. Quit the riddles, old man. How can we get to Moonhop ASAP? In the, if the trains are out, you have to take the Beatles. They'll carry you across. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sand's rough out here. Broke a lot of beetle legs trying to cross those. But there's a path. There used to be one. I know it. Driven it many times. The rovers. Get back inside. I found something. Bring the package. All right, so we might have another luck and drive a rover again, because that was probably the most fun I had so far, in terms of the actual gameplay. The story is great, but the gameplay-wise, it was all about the driving. Okay, unable to connect, that's obvious, and then pillar not aligned, station power insufficient, uh, um, access the moon surface through vehicle bay. Ooh, very cool. And we get the rover, yay! But where is this? Ooh, is that it? Okay.
<clears throat> oh, this is actually there's someone's whiteboard where I think they drew the whole conspiracy thing. Let's read this. This is exciting. Much like Maria, a fellow survivor of the Huygens malfunction, Rainhole operator Edgar Davis has been looking for answers. His bewildering findings blame Rosa Laverde for the Huygens cryosleep malfunction and establish a suspicion link between the Lunar Council and the disappearance of Helium 3. Oh, it's a lunar conspiracy! Very exciting. Do I go back? I guess I do. Okay, so we just have to jump into the vehicle, right? Or do we need to press something first? This time they're probably gonna make me do something first, right? Or not. Oh, wait, but there's a cutscene! Evac 2 to Evac 1, come in. We need to transport the helium to Moonhop by rover, since we're not gonna get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Evac 1, come in! Do you copy? Damn it. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> For the first time, I know everything. No more secrets. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see. See what you were up to. And, and now I know. Just for the fuel. Helium-3. The ticket out of here. You stranded us here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We've got to go. Simply a flakeless switch. And you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in, and what you've put at risk. ASEL 30. Don't. Activate crowd control protocol. No! Ah! Whoa, that was extreme. All right, so Edgar guy seems to have... He's done something to their plan, but um, they killed him, it sounds like. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> Can I jump? Can I jump? No, no way. But maybe I can jump. Eh? Oh, okay, here we go. I think it's automatic, right? Yeah, it's going to deposit us on the on surface there. I still don't exactly know what Edgar guy did. I think he just basically disabled everything. Oh, there was oxygen right there. I didn't see it. Ooh, we're inside a crater. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, direct power to pillar one by aligning pillar two with it. Which one is one? Are you one or two? Wait. Can I figure this out? Uh, I think this must be one, right? Doesn't actually say. Okay, well, let's try this first. It's red, so I'm guessing this is where we have to go. Here we go, here we go. Almost there. Oh, this has no power. Never mind. Yeah, so we have to give this power from over there. Absolutely, totally makes sense. Wait, that's the monitor, isn't it? Deep crater, and... Okay, here we go. This is a huge crater. The actual collision that may have caused this is very, very powerful. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Almost there? Oh, I was there. Done, right? Yeah. And now... I think we're doing the same thing we did before. Basically running in. Um, repositioning the satellite and... Providing the energy to the other antenna. Except there's a puzzle. Of course there's a puzzle. Of course. Wait. It's broken. Oh, do I just use the guy a little thingy to go underneath? Hey, that works. All right, so here we go. Let's 
too easy. What is this? A puzzle for ants? But if the ladder breaks, that's going to be horrible. Okay, the ladder survived too. Every time uh, there's one of these antenna thingies, they seem to add an element of surprise to it. So let's see what, what's going to happen this time. Is there going to be something else that's going to cause me to stop? Nothing so far. Alright, so... <coughs> it seems they reuse the same thing, but I think I can... Oh no, no, oh no, that's not it. That's not what I wanted. That's almost the opposite of what I wanted. I kind of didn't want that at all, actually. But at least it survived. Um, yeah, they reused the heat steam thingy again. Which makes it super easy, because apparently you don't really die from it right away. And now... And now... That is it, right? This one is out of range. All right. That it, right? Yeah, and so n I think we're going to the second one, repositioning that, and... Something else happens after? Oh wait, never mind. It looks like maybe it doesn't work. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! What is this? Oh no, what's happening? Why is it? Why? 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 Why do I only have two minutes forty? Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, this game is full of timers. Alright, so something else needs to be fixed, I think. Do I have to climb to the top in 2 minutes, 30 seconds? I think so. Oh, this is gonna take me forever though. This this part is hard. It's like parallel parking, but like with 6 wheels. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, I did it. It's open. I performed well under stress. Okay, here we go. Run. Run. Run, forget about the air. Press the button. The music is getting more intense. But I'm still not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing upstairs though. Because this, this place clearly looks broken. Like, well, how am I gonna fix it? Okay, okay, one minute forty. We're good, we're good so far. Oh, never mind, we're not that good. Can I jump? Oh yeah, thank you, moon gravity. Oh, cables, 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 cables. Okay, now what? Jump again, and here we go. <laughs> Strange position for a ladder, but I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, that's right, walk slowly <laughs> with your arms spread apart. Uh, more heat, great, thank you. And jump one more time. Oh my god, oh my god. This is just intense, huh? Let me guess, it's going to be like a normal panel that's going to totally work just fine. Of course it is. <laughs> Everything else is broken, but not this. This works fine. But why are you giving me... I, like, I don't get what... Why, why do I need a timer? Why is there a timer for this? What is going to happen in, in, in 40 seconds? Okay, honestly, I'm not willing to find out, so... Let's just do this. Are we, are we good? Yeah. Thank you. So much just to make a train run. Oh. Oh. Okay, 
Okay, wait a second. So if this thing just fell down, should it not technically disable the power in the train station? I'm gonna just ignore this little loop of logic. Oh, it's sad. Oh, it's happy. So now with three minutes of oxygen, we're gonna be running back to the train station, right? Oh no, 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 no. Are you serious? You gave me 15 seconds? Why are you doing this to me? I don't know where the next one is. I don't see the next one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this going to be enough? I guess we'll find out. 20 seconds. Great. Now there's a box falling from... Oh wait, the box says oxygen. <laughs> How convenient. Press the button, press the button. All right, drama intensified. Um, no notes. No, nothing. Okay, so is the train working finally? I guess, I guess everything's working, right? Did I just fix everything that Mr. Edgar <laughs> broke? Wait, why is there a... Why? Why? No. Activate more rail station power inside the control center. No. Oh, there was some oxygen there, I remember. Okay, so... Where was this station activation thingy? Here. No, is that it? I think th I think that's it. All right. Mission successful. They evacuated? No, 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 no. This can't be right. They can't just leave. The colony will fail without them. Earth. How could they all be so goddamn selfish? What were they thinking? How can they be so? Warning. Tombow reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know. I know I'm alone. Combo reactor capacity at 10%. It's still going? Alex, we have to go. This is... this would make things right. We could fix this. We can fix this. <sighs> okay. Just follow the tracks along the pillars. You'll make it to Tombo. You'll make it, Sarah. All right, so that that's kind of what I thought was happening. Except I also thought it was aliens. But basically, yeah, they all just left. They had um they had their on my way, Sarah. cryogenic capsules and I'll find you. Rolf. I thought Rolf left. Wait, am I Rolf after all? No, there's no way. But yeah, so that totally makes sense, right? They had their cryo sleep capsules that are probably not broken at all. Or were fixed in some way. And they just boarded the rockets and left for another star somewhere. I really wonder what two stars they chose, because there were two star. No, actually, maybe it was the same star. I'm thinking way ahead of here, but they had two spaceships. 
And maybe they chose two different stars, or maybe they chose the same star. Which would probably take them like hundreds and hundreds of years to reach, depending on the speed they're going at. Thousands. M more. Way more. Okay. Oh, it's the end! Oh, so I was Rolf. Oh, what? But I thought it was Fortuna. Still, okay, so this actually created more questions than answers. So, okay. From what I understand about this so far, I might have to read more about this later, we know that... Um, in the beginning, when we wake up, we don't, we're not given the name, we're just called Fortuna, so maybe that's our designation. And then at some point I did think I was Rolf, and I realized I wasn't. But maybe Rolf actually did decide to come back and save Sarah. That would totally make sense. And so Sarah is now stuck at the Tombow station, if she's still alive, assuming. And uh, she's trying to fix the reactor, and if they fix the reactor... Because all of the antenna are already aligned, they'll provide energy to Earth. And they'll maybe have another chance on Earth. So basically, that's kind of where the game really leaves it open-ended. I really wonder if they're going to do a sequel. They really should. Um, this would be really, really cool to have a sequel. It actually would be super cool if they also connected this to some other game. Like, this really would be a perfect prequel for the Souls project. I've played the Souls project on the channel, I think maybe like three years ago. It was, it was actually one of my first Let's Plays. And it's such an amazing game where it's kind of like this, but way, way more danger. Like way more aliens and hazardous environments and you just dying. You have to always maintain your um, food levels and energy levels. And in that game, you kind of start with that, like, oh, we're crashing on a planet. We were on a spaceship, but now we're crashing. And and it doesn't really explain where the spaceship came from. It would be actually, actually kind of cool to maybe connect these with, like, a in-between sequel. But, yeah, no, it's such an amazing game. I really like these types of games where you... you um, are left to yourself to explore and to find out things. There's not too much danger, not too much fear factor, maybe there's some, but for the most part it's kind of like a mystery where you really have to figure things out. And through reading things, through exploring, you actually find out what happens. Now here, I don't know if I, if I read enough, maybe I should maybe, yeah, maybe I should actually replay this just to kind of finish reading some of the things I didn't read. To find out, first of all, who exactly is the protagonist? So, is this Rolf? And if so, who is Rolf again? I didn't really read his backstory very well. And, and then also, to find out what happened to Sarah. Although, I think at this point we don't really know, it's kind of like a hit or miss. There's a really high chance she's probably dead. Um, mostly because she probably ran out of resources, there might not have been enough food or, or oxygen for her to survive on a station that was clearly abandoned. But you never know. So yeah, this definitely is a sequel. Amazing game, really, really cool. V very short, I would say. I think it took me like just over three hours, I think. Um, but definitely needs a sequel. Anyway, so there's quite a lot of other games that are similar to this that I really want to play. I'm hopefully going to bring them back eventually um, to kind of like a, as a side let's play on the channel. But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys when I get back, I guess. Space out as always. Bye-bye.